Hello boys and girls, my name is Hotsosi and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Last time uh, we completed the loop so we could start the refinery again and we already have 100 kilograms of steel um, on top. So what we now need to do is finish up the uh, setup up here uh, with, the, with the piping. Um, um, here we may have still a bit of, uh, of gas. Um, and then, of course, down here we need a bit of uh, water that will then be uh, turned into uh, into uh, to steam. And I think. This is enough from the perspective of uh, liquid that we have in the system. We have half a tank here. This one is full. And let's calculate real quick. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven tiles wide um, for high. Uh, that's seven times three. Uh, with the mass, that's twenty-one. Um, twenty-one times twenty-five. Um, that's about 250 kilograms of water we want here on the floor on the floor uh, I guess usually if you have a four high floor you say 100 kilograms per tile uh, or uh, per, per column so it's it's 25 kilograms per tile um, should be good. Okay. Loop is separated. And the uh, oil is sitting at 35 degrees. So it's still cool. I mean, when it goes out, it's quite a bit warmer. But as you can see, the loop is working. And now we see, okay, uh, there's a bit of oil that is warmer. And I think as soon as I have the, uh, yes, let's disable this building so we do not generate additional heat until we have finished this setup up here. And looks like we can deconstruct this. So Very nice. Then we can place the steam turbine here. Connect it to the grid there. And then, of course, uh, 
uh, we this should work. Bit of cleanup that needs to be done there. getting some water I'm hoping that it does not immediately uh, turn to steam because the, the pipe here is a bit on the warm side least it condenses and soon we should have a vacuum again yes so the the thing with a water cooled steam room is that if you have uh, not enough water. Um, ooh. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, okay, that's iron. But here, but there, there we need to steal, please. Um, as I was saying, if you don't have enough water then you do not really get the, the cooling effect uh, and basically the uh, steam gets too hot and the steam turbine overheats, uh, does not uh, work and of course does not cool down the system. But if you have too much water, uh, it's not that big of, uh, of a problem because then the water just sits down here the the whole system is a bit uh, more um, uh, laid back uh, because the it takes longer for the the, the, the water to heat up uh, and become steam uh, uh, so that's basically the inertia of the system and having the, the sweet spot, the right amount of water in the system, that's often the, the tricky thing. I think we need a bit more uh, here. Okay. Want to analyze that? Um, want to have there, just in case. this somewhere so it gets cleaned up 
supplying, operating, digging, ranching, cooking, CO tearing. We'll take the omelette. Nothing wrong with a bit of omelette. Let's check here. How's the movement? Definitely good. Yeah, we probably need a second cook anyway. Yeah, we do not really need to go all the way there, uh, but you can switch your head. That's not yet enough. I think I will I will leave that uh, uh, down here anyway. It's certainly can help us with the system. Okay, we have two tanks full of uh, hydrogen. So we're going 140. A bit above. Okay. No, you are dormant. That's a bit of uh, of an issue. As we run out of water down here. Means uh, our crops will not grow. Um, so basically, can deconstruct this. Um, Um, liquid pipes. that cleans up the pipe mess a bit.
going 160, 170. Usually with systems like this I go with 200 kilograms water on the floor. So we're getting there. Maybe yeah. That's good enough. And to close up here. And then we're basically good to finish this system. Um, let's break this here, then all the mess should flow down there. We can do this. Marvelous how you managed to get from in here up there without burying your head in the roof you just built. Amazing. Down here we are now good and we only need this one. Then close off here adding a bit of hydrogen into the mix for optimal cooling and then This system is good to go. Okay, had all the materials already delivered. Great. So we can place this tile here. And pipe wise. Everything is set up, we only have to connect down there. Once we have the room closed off, that is. Oh, 
let's do this real quick. Dismiss. Before we close it off, digging, ranching, supplying, building. Yeah, that's up. Oh. Our crop farm currently is not working, so maybe now is not a good time to add some hungry mouse. Could probably also store lead in here. Hopefully this does not turn into a catastrophe. Would be bad if we lose duplicants because we cannot feed them. It's bad enough if we lose them for other reasons. piece we do have a bit of uh, uh, a bridge here for the heat to go out but up here it's not so much about the, the heat being uh, contained uh, as it is that we can that we manage to cool the system and we probably need a bit more iron and we need around 20 or 2 tons of steel. Probably a bit more uh, because this one, ah, yeah, exactly 2 tons, uh, 1.2. 
two tons and eight hundred kilograms. Okay, that's closed off. Then we can grab this pipe, connect it. until the room is full and then we can also enable this building and see how this machine is working in the next episode so until then goodbye